Intimacy anorexia. This is a new term to some of you, but I think if you'll just watch for the next couple minutes, you may know someone or be someone who actually is having intimacy anorexia affect their marriage or their relationships. Now I've been working with people with addictions and without them who have intimacy anorexia. Intimacy anorexia is the active withholding of spiritual, emotional, and sexual intimacy from their spouse. Everyone else thinks they're a wonderful man or woman, but inside the marriage, the spouse feels alone, disconnected, unwanted, and rejected. And this pain inside the marriage is because of the intimacy anorexia. So let me quickly run through this criteria. And if you think you've got several of these going on in your life or someone who you're in a relationship with, please give us a call so that you can get help, whether there's books, there's workbooks, there's counseling available, there's three-day, five-day intensives. So there's hope if this happens to be you. Busy, staying so busy that they have little time just for the spouse. They have time for the kids, for volunteering, for work, for friends, but just the spouse, not a lot of time for them. Blame. The intimacy anorexic will blame the spouse on a regular basis for the problems in the marriage and will have difficulty seeing their part of what's going on inside the marriage. So if a problem comes up, they're going to blame the spouse first before seeing themselves. They withhold love. Not only do they withhold love, they withhold love specifically the way you receive love. So if you like to be touched, they won't touch you. If your spouse likes to be praised, the anorexic will withhold praise. However it is the spouse likes to be loved, the anorexic will squeeze and hold on to that. And how do I know? Because when they get in trouble, they know how to love their spouse. Withholding praise. The intimacy anorexic may be able to praise other people, especially in public, but praising their spouse seems to be very hard and challenging and difficult and infrequent. Again, unless they're in trouble, praise will be almost absent. And so if that's what's going on, intimacy anorexia may be what needs to be solved for the marriage or relationship to improve. Sex. Now, some guys who are intimacy anorexic uh, don't withhold sex. They just are disconnected during sex. So if you feel alone during sex, that could be the way they withhold during sex. Or there are some people, men and women, who literally will withhold sex. They won't have sex for days, weeks, or months, or years at a time. If that's going on, you know that's going on and could be a notice that you have intimacy and anorexia inside your relationship. Withholding spiritually. They might be a rabbi, a pastor, a medicine man, a spiritual leader, or a woman in, in their community, but at home, they don't pray, they don't connect, they don't read literature, they don't open their heart spiritually to their spouse. Feelings being unable or unwilling to share their feelings with their spouse. When you talk about feelings, the intimacy anorexia can go silent, can get angry, can move in a different direction, but really has difficulty sharing their real feelings with their spouse. Anger or silence. This is a way that the anorexic maintains distance or creates distance so the intimacy stays less in the relationship. They can blow up and be the bully and push you away or they can shut you down for hours, days, or weeks at a time and not talk to you so that you have to beg to be loved. That could be a symptom of intimacy anorexia. Criticism. Two forms of this. Ongoing criticism, which means regularly being criticized, or ungrounded criticism. It's almost as if they're making things up to criticize you about. And they often do. They make the worst case in their head. They think that's what you're doing, and they act as if that's what you're doing. Money. Now, some intimacy anorexics have no problem with this. Some do. They withhold or limit money from their spouse. Now, I appreciate you spending a minute watching this, but if you have five or more yeses for yourself or for someone you're in a relationship, strongly consider getting the Intimacy Anorexia book, DVD, or workbook, or get the Married and Alone, which is for the spouses, or give us a call at Heart to Heart. You can do a three-day, five-day intensive. We have seen couples who haven't had sex in 10 and 20 years get better. We've had couples who have really hard times being in relationships actually bond and attach and connect. And they call me back a month later saying, this is the best marriage I've ever had. I didn't believe it was possible. If that's you, we would love to hear from you. Intimacy anorexia is a real situation and you can heal from it.